Hey everyone, welcome back to the series. Uh, we are playing as Kelvin Brennan. I think that's his last name, right? Where is his last name at? Yeah, Kelvin Brennan. Kelvin Brennan. And he's unemployed, but he's inspiring to be a great man. To be someone who can actually accomplish things and survive the zombie apocalypse. And he looks like, he looks like a Kelvin. He looks like somebody who's definitely been preparing to do just horrible things to the world or surviving. I mean, look at him. He is something. But that's what we're going to do today. We're going to pick up where we last left off. And in this series, if you've uh, missed the first part, I'm looking to go ahead and make this a nice slow play. Something where we can just kind of take our time. I could really start to learn the fundamentals of the game and uh, get better at it. So I'm looking forward to continue building upon my lack of a skill set and uh, looking forward to any advice you have to share. I definitely need pointers, um, maybe even suggested mods, things like that. I'm all for it. So let's go ahead and head upstairs. I was going to say he's probably getting tired. Oh, I like this plant. It's a majestic plant. Let's go ahead and switch that off. It's nighttime. Time to go to bed. All right, what do we got in here? Let's turn that off. Uh, nothing in there. I don't know if I like the feeling of that room. We have, ooh, we got a bunch more stuff up here. I am going to start organizing, too. I like having the rubber duck up here. That's nice. Um, yeah, all this, is, all this is good. We'll bring that downstairs. Let's grab all of this, except for, well, the rubber duck I want to place. Maybe we'll put it here. Can I rotate it? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Actually... I want to put that downstairs. So let's grab all of this, toss it in our satchel. I uh, will take all that too, because I don't. If we really need to like take care of ourselves, I don't really foresee us using this bathroom that much. But maybe. All right. I really regret not taking the um, what is it, wakeful trait, the one where you sleep less. I feel like that's pretty handy. Where's the light switch for this room? Am I just missing it, or is it behind the door? Is it like over here or something? Huh. Weird. Very weird. All right. Let's see. Uh, yeah. I kind of like this room too. Can't really decide which room I want to slumber in. Mm. The red room makes me pretty happy. I don't like, I don't like the wallpaper in this room. You know, it looks very strange. It's uncomfortable. So we won't use that room. Instead, we'll use this room for sleeping. But life and living is coming on. We will sit right there. Speed up time until it comes on. There we go. Well, if you thought I was right, I was wrong. <laughs> I love some of the dialogue in this game. This is a kitchen knife by Kitten. Are they even going to talk about anything that helps me, though? That's the thing, right? No, they didn't, of course. Just a waste of time. Little entertainment. All right. Oh, it's foggy. I do like the fog effects in this game. I wish that my MacBook Air, which, you know, obviously me saying that right there just tells you how not good I am at, uh, or not how not optimized my setup is for playing games. But it just goes to show you how much, uh, I don't even know where I was going with that, to be honest. Either way, I love the fog effects, and I wish I could have them even better, but my MacBook Air just does not allow for that to happen. It hates rendering effects for the most part and you know fair enough it's not really a gaming PC and what's worse is I'm on a laptop uh, that's not hooked up well I'm not streaming right now but it's not hooked up to the Ethernet cord because I do like the stream I just can't really do it effectively with this so I gotta figure it out I have to get a new PC preferably a desktop ideally I'll get a Wi-Fi extender with an Ethernet port to it I was, I was looking at them they're not that expensive or anything and um, 
I want to see how that works, because I'm hoping if that works, then I can kind of avoid not having an Ethernet connection and get better Wi-Fi and be able to stream more and um, you know, maybe pick up a, I don't know, some kind of gaming laptop or desktop that's not horribly expensive and go from there. I think what I should do is organize and then go out, collect some stuff and figure out what the long-term plan is. So the first thing is, do I want to stay in this regi residential neighborhood? That's a good question. I don't know if I do. What I can see is that there's a lot of things around here. Maybe, yeah, I see I don't want to be stuck in a place for too long right here. But maybe this will be a temporary home. Maybe we can eventually build something over here in this park area. That would be kind of cool. Uh, from I'm starting to remember more of this now. I do know there's another starter house off around here somewhere with some woods nearby, so maybe we'll go there, do some of that. I don't know. We'll see where the game takes us. So, first things first, let's, let's get some of our supplies established here, figure out what we got. Extra socks. So socks are going to be part of the rags, right? So let's just do that now. Let's just... Uh, Rip the socks. All right, easy enough. And then we'll toss those. Um, actually, I'll keep them in my satchel, or my fanny pack rather. That way, I have you know some emergency rip sheets in case I need them. Next, the electronics that I have. Uh, I'll put them in here. The saw and the rope I'll take, and I will take these electronic parts and put them in here that'll be a little electronics area for now the headphones will leave over there they look kind of nice honestly uh, what did I do with all those books they're still in here aren't they yeah let's place the CDs did you guys ever have to did you ever have PlayStation 2 discs lying around your room as a kid and just <laughs> how to manage all that and you'd get scratches on them and you'd get the uh, disc scratch eraser or whatever it was where you would have to like turn oh, man I remember this machine I had would it supposedly remove most scratches out of discs and uh, oh, what game was it? I think I scratched up yeah San Andreas so Grand Theft Auto San Andreas for PS2 and I bought the disc thing disc cleaner it was like this machine you had to crank and you had to put like the spray stuff on it and like the disc sat in like this little thing and you spun the machine and spin the disc and rub it against like a fancy sponge and everything like that. Good times. It, it worked too. It wasn't like a bad, you know, bad investment from my parents. It did work. So let's put the books in here. And I like the idea of the CDs kind of sitting there hanging off just like they did as a kid. Just a little bit of them hanging off for easier access kind of get scratched and that's okay oh let's see yeah we'll put that in there <coughs> sewing kit sheet toothpaste tweezers vitamins okay cologne I don't need do we have a garbage can I feel like we need a garbage is there one outside maybe Mm. That's what I'll do. All right, for now we'll take our trash, our things that I I look at as trash. And again, I don't know much about this game in terms of what is truly garbage and what isn't, but I'm going by the junk indicator. Uh, toothpaste. We don't need to clean our teeth in the apocalypse. Why would we need to do that? Use it to dry when wet. Also, know where your towel is. All right. Oh, is there anything in these um, drying? Oh, yeah. Oh, I should have washed my clothes last night. Bath towels. All right, can I? Yeah, let's, let's grab all these, including the jeans. And then we can wash some of our dirty stuff, like the baggy jeans those in the washer well actually no it no let's wear that or not 
Because we're just going to go out and get bloody again, right? I mean, that's... Let's be honest. Right, let's do that. And then we'll put this on the ground right here. Jeans go on the ground. Socks we'll throw on the ground. Bath towels on the ground. On the ground. Anything that we want to kind of sort out just quickly as we want to come in and out onto the ground. All right. Um, hmm. Let's go put some more stuff in the bathroom. Feeling that. How much room we got in this thing? 13 pounds worth. Or maybe it's kilos worth. I don't really know. Adhesive bandages we'll put in our little fanny pack. Painkillers will go into the cabinet. Sewing kit. It could be used to sew our wounds. Also for tailoring. For now, we'll put it here, but we may be taking it back off the ground later for a tailoring area. I never really did tailoring in this game, so I don't know how good it is. Um, I'm assuming it's decent if you find like a good you know, uniform you want to hang on to, right? Vitamins. Okay. And I want to get some of this garbage out of here. Like lipstick. Don't need that. Foundation makeup. Cologne. Actually, yeah. Yeah, it looks good. I do want to... Stuff here. Let's set the cologne out. You know, like I did in my bathroom. Oh, do I care enough about going? Ah, eh, what the hell? We'll go upstairs and put it up there. Why not? As I said, we'll take it slow this playthrough. Here we go. There it is. Oh, we already have cologne. We'll make it look like a hotel. Now there's two things of cologne. And all this other shit I'll throw outside. All right. Okay, let's drop that. Drop that. And we'll put our saw and rope out here. Yeah. That yeah, looks nice. Oh, you know what? Hammer I did want to attach to my right belt. You never know when you're going to need a hammer, right? Okay. Saw will go in here. Rope will go in here. Metal looks good there. All right. I want to catch life and living since we're still here. Can I turn this light off? All right, that's already off. Hmm. Can I add a sheet to that? Yeah. Nice. I know why life and living's on. We can at least do some, some reading, right? Grind those skill sets. Maybe I'll learn about cooking. I am a fast reader. I'll learn about carpentry. Fantastic. Three nails, three planks. Take that hammer and... <laughs> that, there's a piece of wall. Neat, huh? <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's... Progress. Yes. I love grinding those stats. So we got some fishing, some cooking, a little bit of carpentry. So now that we're done with this book, I don't want to like throw it back in the thing. I kind of want to put it out so you know it looks sort of messy and sort of fits the vibe of the house. Can I rotate that? Yeah, there we go. Maybe right there. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks really good. Okay. Let's do a little bit more eating. Well, actually, I 
feel like he's eating too many calories, though, because I'm not really losing any weight, am I? No. I should already be down, like, a kilo, I think. So let me put this in the fridge, actually. And let's eat something nutritious, like a whole damn peach. I think I'm only peckish, though. Yeah, I'm only peckish. I like to eat peaches when I peckish, though, right? I mean, it's not that much. <laughs> I do love the blood splatter on his head. He kind of reminds me of, uh, what's it, Agent, um, was it 47 from Hitman? Oh, he is kind of Hitman, isn't he? Now that I'm thinking about it. All right. Let's go ahead and look at our map. So for right now, we'll put... Is there a home symbol? I must be looking past it, right? Yeah. Let's put a home right... Home right there. Hello. Ah! Not today. Oh, she moved quick. There we go. Settles that. Man, I really want a digital watch. Taking your socks. Oh, I forgot to get this stuff out of my inventory. I'll have to do that before you really head out. There we go. I will take your jeans since we're so close to the house. And your t-shirt. And your socks, because I know I can rip all those things up. What do you have on you? I didn't really give you a chance. Did I? Uh, long socks. I love long socks. And boxers. And baggy jeans. This is great. These are all things I can be ripping up. And a long sleeve shirt. Let's go ahead and just drop all that off right here. Uh, the rope. I know there's rope out in the shed, but I'm just going to throw it here on the ground for right now. I don't feel like running out there. The socks will go here. Hand torch and battery. I'm just going to be lazy with. The rubber duck. We're going to place that. I feel like it belongs right there. Yeah. Now we're ready to continue our journey in earnest. Let's head down to this house first and investigate what's going on. Oh yeah. I love that swing. I really do wonder, like, how much damage you can inflict on a zombie with a crowbar. I would imagine it would be quite a bit. Like, really, it would only take one good swing from, like, you know, a strong person. Because, I, I don't know, I've used crowbars a lot throughout my life. <laughs> Just been using crowbars. No, I um, did a lot of construction growing up with my dad. He'd take me on job sites and stuff, have me do a lot of, you know, a lot of menial tasks. Oh, God. That one came out of nowhere. And as a result of, you know, just doing basic construction stuff, I, uh, you know, had, had my fair share of work with uh, crowbars. And they, you know, they're thick and heavy. Oh, that's what I was doing. I wanted to grab that digital watch. I already have a digital watch on. All right. Well, I'll take this one anyway. I can disassemble it. But yeah. yeah. Crowbars are pretty thick and heavy, and you can get a good swing on them, too. They're very good at being swung. <laughs> like it's their decision. And uh, I feel like you can damage a zombie pretty... Well, what am I saying? You can damage a human, right? Because, I mean, that's really what we're talking about here. Same anatomy. Though, I, I guess zombies would have, I mean, after some time, weaker skulls, right? Oh, 
Or at least mushier skulls. But yeah. Oh god, they destroy the hell out of this door. What do we got laying around here? Anything? Uh, doorknob, scrap wood. Alright. Some good food in here. We'll grab all that. But yeah, I feel like a crowbar would be a fantastic choice for an apocalypse because, you know, it, it, uh, was it in a movie or a show or something where it was kind of like a funny thing? Maybe it was Shaun of the Dead. But it was a funny thing pointing out like the weaknesses of using a bladed weapon because, or maybe an axe even because it can get stuck in, um, you know, in something's head. An empty jar, I'll take that. Bunch of this food. I'm not going to worry about grabbing that right now. Um... Oh, just a bunch of food everywhere. Do I want to bring all this food back to the house now or later? We'll do it later. Because <laughs> all this is um, non-perishable stuff. Alright. I'll grab a pop, though. Olive oil. Nice. Frying pan. We already got one of those. Okay. Yeah, this is all stuff we've seen. But yeah, I uh, I do think um, a blunted weapon, such as like a hammer, or uh, even a 2 by 4 you know, to a certain extent, would usually be better than a bladed weapon, like an axe or something. Unless it's like you're an expert, like swordsman, or bladesman, and uh, you know how to like repair the items and stuff, because blades get dull really fast, turns out, especially when you're hitting things in the head. And, you know, something like a hammer, that's not really, I mean, you could break the hammer over time, uh, but, I mean, it's going to last you a lot longer, and it takes a lot less skill to use effectively. I don't know, I'm kind of going on a tangent about what weapons are effective for killing zombies. But it feels nice. Alright, do I want this, that's what I was trying to say, do I want this port disc? Not right now. I'll come back for it. I know where all these things are. I have to I have to teach myself not to grab all the things at once. Just things that are most interesting. Like the rope I like. And the reason for that is because I learned through playing the game a little bit last time. Um, you know, doing some multiplayer stuff that ropes can be used to a formal shirt. What does that do? Uh, oh, you can mute sneezes and coughs. That's interesting. Ropes in this game are used for a couple different things. But one of the uses is uh, if you're making logs, which I do intend on doing, you can actually tie them together in log bundles and uh, use the ropes that way, which is nice. A plunger. Yeah, I want that for the house, for the aesthetic. Soap. Sewing kit. Oh, the mirror. What does the mirror look like when it's set up? Oh, it's just literally a mirror. All right. Black hair dye, brown hair dye. Vitamins. Sleeping tablets. Some bandages. Oh, maybe I should go and get the toothpaste. Yeah, what the hell? Why not? We'll have some fun. All right, there we go. some checker pieces it looks like and some chess pieces grab those sport shirts a doll how creepy is that doll that's pretty creepy I don't want that thing uh, yeah nothing else though all right it's a lot of good furniture to disassemble eventually Find out where that last zombie's at. Pretty sure it's in the backyard here. Did I already check you? I like your lumberjack shirt. Oh yeah. 
There it is. Oh, uh, let's see. A clip-on tie. I'll take that. Uh, do I want more socks? Yeah, what the hell? Why not? Can't have enough socks. Ah, uh, the grill. The majestic grill. How heavy is the grill? 15? Alright. That's good to know. We will definitely grab that later. I want the doorknob. Which room I got? I got plenty of room. Well, now we know we have a grill next door. That's going to help for things. Oh, I wonder... That's actually a good idea. I never got to really too far into the... Um, like, when... Because I've, I've just done, like, a lot of the basic starts. I never got to the point where, really, the power's off, you know? Uh, like, I, I have, of course, where it got to where the power of water's off and you generators, but I wonder if... I, I just never played far into it, but I wonder if you can use the grill as a substitute for the... Um, you know, the, the oven. Hmm. Oh, premium technologies walkie-talkie. We'll grab that. A necklace with a crucifix. Yeah. yeah let's take that. Uh, green tank top. Okay. Which house am I more interested in? This one or that one? Is this where I just came from? Is that the one with the grill? No, that's the one with the grill. Alright. Let's consult our map. So we're done with that house for now. to the next one. Come on. Get it open. I really don't want to miss life and living again. Oh, you're the worst. Get up there. Yeah. Such a strong man. That is life and living, right? Not making that up? Yeah. A little bit more life and living. You won't get anywhere without seeds, so find them. Take a trowel, a shovel, hell, maybe even your bare hands. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Some farming. The sound of progress. Keep water, don't trample them, and watch the sky. <laughs> God, it would be great if we can have like some. Uh, there's probably a mod out there that does like the voice acting for like these commercials or something like that. Maybe even extra commercials or shows. I don't know, I had never. I haven't really like checked out the mods list that much, so. I really have to take some time to do that. Hmm. Alright. Now that we got our life and living fix and got some farming in, do some running, get our fitness going. That's another thing, too. I don't really know how to get, like, um, some of the levels up. Like, I know I can look these things up, obviously, but, like, fitness was the window I tried before. Like, this fitness just running around? Can I take that painting? I like that painting a lot. Is that something I can grab? Uh, I don't see that I can take it. Hmm. It's a shame. I wish I could grab that painting. Well, I won't touch this wall just in case there is a mod or something that can do that because I would love to have that to like to my house or maybe I'll make this my house just because of that painting I don't know yet I actually do like this house at least a little bit right I mean a real spacious kitchen love that 
Another laundry room, of course. What's this back here? Oh, all right, bathroom. Okay, I'll grab that. But it doesn't have a shed, and that's gonna be the, I, I want a house with a shed. Maybe I'm just projecting my real life here, but I just want... Oh, it does. Oh, listen to that gravel. That's nice. That is nice. I do love a house with a shed. My dad, he, he always had a garage, you know? He had a house with a nice garage that he built himself. I think that's why I appreciate things like this. Look, look at all that metal. That's nice. The shed is... Oh, it's missing a few things from the other house, but it has this really nice table. Man, I really kind of want to live in this house now. It's more spacious. It's got more coverage. I think. I could be making that part up. But, you know what? I'm judging this house. I haven't even looked at it all yet. Let me look at the rest of it first before I really make a decision here. I feel like I'm... Oh, God damn it, Josh. I feel like I'm house shopping. This is great. I think that's what PZ really comes down to, is like... You know? You really start to immerse yourself in it. Alright, let's see. First, let's set this to life and living. As... As is tradition. I, I really am kind of sold on this house. Really over this painting. That's what's doing it for me. I don't know why, but it speaks to me. Oh, they got a nice little office. To, oh, that is good. Nice little desk. Oh, a nice closet up here with good stuff in it. Uh, this room is cool. I don't like that chair. It's sort of creepy looking. It's like a place where Annabelle would be sitting. Oh, oh, yes, this is the house. This is the house. Look, Oh, look at the instruments. Oh, we can have a band. Play some rock band. Look at this house. Yeah. It has a great room. I guess it's a storage room, right? And then you have this, uh, this nice bathroom. And it has a good plant. I'll bring the other plant over. Yeah, this is, this is where I want to be. This is where I want to spend my, my days. Yeah, it's nice. I'll just be staring here. This painting. That's good. Well, friends, this is where I'm going to leave you today. I am looking forward to containing this series. And, um, yeah, definitely comment. Um, engage with me. Let me know. Um, things about this game that you think I should know. I'm really interested to hear more. Uh, tell me about the mods list, things like that that I don't know of. I'm going to definitely try to do my own research, though. And, um, yeah. yeah, let me know just general thoughts. But until next time, take care, everyone.